Hi guys, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. Today is Tuesday, guys, and I'm coming on because I'm going to be starting dinner. But I wanted to talk to you guys about something else that I'm planning on doing for my channel first. Now, what I'm doing is I, I really love to read. I always have loved to read. And um, I just haven't had time in the last, you know, year or whatever to read. But um, I've decided to, I picked a book and I'm going to um, read a book because I really want to get into it. But I do have a lot of stuff going on. So it's going to be kind of like in and out of reading it. Um, but I definitely want to make a commitment to read a little bit each day if I can. But I wanted to do like a kind of like a little segment with you guys on um, like a book thing. Not, not like a book club, but just a book that I'm going to be reading that I want to tell you about from, from start to finish. And I want to let you know how the book was. And then maybe you guys could read it if you want or that. So that's what I'm going to do. So I wanted to tell you the, the book that I'm going to be started, that I started reading a couple days ago. Just I just got through like two chapters. It's called Reminders of Him, and it's by Colleen Hoover. Colleen Hoover is a really good author. My daughter Julie has read books of her. She said they're awesome. So um, there's a couple of books that I want to read, and I'll, after I read this one, I'm going to go on to our next one. But this is the book that I'm starting to read, Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. So um, I'm going to try to read it as best as I can within a month or two. But there's no timeline on this, guys. Whenever it happens, it happens. I'll tell you what's going on in the book when I when I come on for my, my videos and stuff. I'll tell you some little bit, little things here and there, how, it, how I think it is so far and all of that. Do like kind of, re, do like a kind of re review on it and stuff to let you guys know how it's, ha how it's worked, how it is. And then I'll tell you after the book, I'll, I'll put it on a scale of one to 10. The book being um, one being not good and 10 being the, the best or 10, 10 and over. Or um, if it's a five, it's a five, you know, whatever it is, I'll rate it from one to 10 for you guys. And this way you guys could see maybe if you want to read it and I'll tell you what it's about and all of that. So this way, not you know, I won't tell you the secrets and all that kind of stuff, but I'll tell you the premise of the book and all of that. Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. I'm so excited. It looks really, really interesting to begin with. So I'm really excited. So I just wanted to tell you guys that. So now what we're going to have for dinner tonight, guys, it's Tuesday and we had, I made, um, I made Italian gravy on Sunday. So we're going to have that leftover tonight. So I'm going to go in the kitchen. I'm going to heat up the gravy. I have to add some water to it. I got to see if I have to add another can of tomatoes. And then we're going to uh, boil up some water. Um, maybe I'll make something with it. Maybe um, garlic bread or something like that. All right, so let's go get in the kitchen. I'm going to take you guys in there one minute. All right, guys. So I'm going to... Um I'm gonna, I don't need to put any more gravy, uh, any more tomatoes in here. I'm just gonna put some water in here because there's plenty of gravy still to, um, you know, I don't need any more gravy right now in there. So let's put some water in it. Water will do the trick. Got a cup of water, a coffee cup of water. We'll mix it up and we'll see if it needs more. After it sits a while, it gets really thick too, but there's plenty of sauce in here. And like I said, when I was, when I did my Italian gravy the other, the other day, that you got to be careful when you mix the meatballs because you don't and mix the gravy because you don't want the meat to start, you know, crumbling up. So I'm going to put more water in it because I want it to be looser. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little extra seasoning in it just because I put water in it. So I don't want to water it down. You know, I want to keep the flavor. So I'll just put a little bit of each seasoning in it. And once it starts, once it starts like boiling, like getting to a, a heavy simmer, I'm going to put it on the low, um, the low flame over there. But right now I just want to get it a little bit where it comes to a simmer. 
So there we go. Okay, so everything's moved around nice and it's at a nice consistency now, see? That's perfect. Perfection, yeah. So let's put some seasoning in it while we're before we cover it. I'm gonna cover it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some sea salt. Put some pepper. This is onion, onion powder. We'll put some dried parsley. I also have some, um, I also have some fresh parsley that I'm gonna put in here too, but not yet. I'm gonna put that in towards the end, till the end, you know, right before we eat. Uh, let's put some garlic. seasoning and some grated palm really okay so I'm gonna mix this up carefully again and I'm gonna put the top on it and let it simmer and then I'll put it on the other flame once it starts simmering a little bit. Um, not sure if I'm going to make, I, well, I think I'm definitely going to make some, um, I'll definitely make angel hair, but I think I'm going to move for, um, pasta. I'm going to have like, like the, 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 the twisties and my son will probably have those too. So I'll make a little bit of of um, angel hair for my husband, and then for me and uh, Frank, because Frank's home, he's back home. He came home from his vacation. He's home, so um, I'll make some uh, of the the, the the twisties for him and I. So I'm gonna cover this all, not all the way, I'm gonna leave a little bit open, so, because I don't want it to burn or anything, but once this gets a little going, like I said, I'm gonna put it on the lower thing. I'm gonna get, I have um, Italian bread in my freezer that I had froze from Julie's shower that we didn't use. And so I'm gonna take that out and um, I'm gonna take half of it and I'm gonna make garlic bread today, tonight. So I have this, so I just, I froze it like this, right in the bag. That's weird looking. <laughs> well, that's a weird shape. I'll defrost it a little bit in the freezer. In the, um, in the microwave, in the freezer, really. I'm gonna take this one, the other one I'm gonna put back in the freezer. Wrap it up really, really good. like this. Hey, Belle. Don't break. He left already. Oh. What? Well, I'm on the, I'm videoing, yeah. A box of the small Canadian noodles. Oh, yeah? And uh, a, a small regret. Do you think well, he'll be back in time? Yeah, he'll be back in time, right? Yeah. All right. Small Can you also get a pound of the small penne noodles and get like a medium sized ragout? Sorry, guys, one second. Um, yeah, so I have this now, so I'm going to stick this in the mic. I'm just going to defrost it a little bit, just so I can get it. Hope you get 
If not, I have the angel hair. Yeah, no, I just... I have the twisties, but they're the very little ones, too. Yeah, I just like the small ones. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm going to put this on defrosted there. Defrost it just so it gets, you know, soft enough where I can utilize it. What? What? What'd you say? I would do it. He's folding laundry and he says he hates doing it. And I said, I'll do it. But he insists on doing it. So then what do we want me to do? What does he want me to do? All right, guys, I'm going to choke my husband like a chicken. Because he's singing, he's walking around the house singing Feelings, why I don't know. He just started singing that song. And now I, I, I'm singing it. Feelings, nothing more than feelings. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. All right, so I defrosted this as much as I can defrost it. I don't want to rub it rubbery, but so I'm going to cut it. Cut it down the middle. That was a song that was when I was growing up. Feelings. 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 Enough, Belle. Oh. This bread, it's been in the freezer. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. <laughs> it smells mm, so good. A little thin, but okay. Now I'm gonna take some of the middle out. Number one, I do that because of the carb situation. Number two, darn it, it makes it um, it makes it crunch, you know, crispier. So that one broke, but that's okay. That's all right. That's okay. We're gonna eat it anyway. This is the stuff right here. Mmm, that's so deadly and so good. <laughs> I might make some homemade, homemade bread later, but um, I'm gonna make the, the no need easy um, overnight bread. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it tonight, and then it sits on the counter for you know for the for the night, and then in the morning you bake it. Um, it's the best kind of bread I've made it before. It's really, really good. And yeah, so I feel like making some bread. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, so what we're going to do with this is in a minute, I'm going to put the gravy on the low, on the back burner because we have a little time to kill because Frankie is, um, Frank is, went to Walmart and is bringing us home. I'm getting you regret. And you know what? I'm going to leave this in here and I'm going to get another stick. He's getting ragout for us because we like to dip our pasta and like our stuff in, in the ragout. And he's also getting a penne, um, penne pasta that we want to make. So, yeah. So, let me get another stick of butter. I'm going to soften it up in the mic. Um, so we went to Julie's today, spent a little time over at her house, um, we had to pick up some stuff. We were, we were, um, she wanted to bring some stuff over to the house that she had from the shower. So we had to go over there anyway, so, um, for a few things. Uh, my son's calling me now. One second, guys. All right, guys, so I, um, I softened the butter a little bit. Of course, I went a little lit. It always, why does that happen? Blair. Can you see the butter? Yeah, whatever. All right. I'm going to put a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, 
Now you can use, you know, some minced garlic if you want. I'm going to use garlic powder. I like to use garlic powder because, I mean, I, I've used minced garlic. But we're, we really prefer the garlic powder. So, I don't know, a couple of tablespoons of garlic powder. Um, put whatever seasonings you want in it. Italian seasoning. You like that. Um, where's the basil? The basil, the basil. Parsley. Coop, what are you doing, Coop? I'm going to put a little bit of onion. Just a little bit. Not a lot, because it's bread. Just to flavor it up just a little bit. And then I'm going to do paprika. And I'm not going to do the smoked paprika, guys. I'm going to do the regular paprika. But I love, I really have discovered, like, smoked paprika. I really like it. But um, it's uh, it's very strong, and I, I put it on certain things. Like, the you know, it, I feel like it doesn't go on everything. Like, I use regular paprika for, um, for stuff like that. And I also like to put a little bit of olive oil in my um, butter mixture. Coop, what are you doing, Coop? Not a lot, just like a teaspoon. What are you doing, buddy? And then we put some grated cheese on it. But I'm going to put grated cheese on the... Um, on the, the bread itself. All right, so let's get this mixed up. Let me get a little spatula. He got his ball. You got your ball, buddy. Get your ball. You let me see that ball. Look, look, look. Here he is. Get that ball. Give me that ball. I'm going to get that ball. He's so cute. He is the most adorable thing. He wants me to play with him, but yeah, he won't give it to me. Come on, drop it. Come here. Come here. Drop it. Drop the ball. Come here. Give me the ball. I'm coming for you. Come on. Come on. Give it to me. <laughs> so cute. Come on. I'm going to get that ball. I'm going to get that ball. <laughs> he'll come and he'll drop it, guys, and it's so cute. Look. look. There you see. See, see. Ready? Let's throw it. Here you go. <laughs> come on. Come on. Give me that ball. Give me that ball. <laughs> so playful, guys. He's so freaking cute. I can't take it. I can't hurt this puppy. Oh, oh give me that ball. Give me that ball. I can get that ball from you. And he keeps dropping it over here. As soon as I, as soon as I walk away, he's gonna drop it. Look. <laughs> he's, he's teasing me. I'm gonna get that ball. I'm gonna get that ball. Where is it? Where is it? Ready? Cooper in here. Look, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Bring it to me. Bring it to me. Bring it to me. Drop it. Drop it. Come on. That's not how you play fetch. <laughs> so cute, guys. I think the garlic, the butter needs a little bit more garlic. Wait. Knucklehead. Come here. Go get it. I always throw it that way, and he looks the other way for me to throw it. Um, I'm going to put a little bit more garlic into the butter because I don't feel like it needs enough, I don't feel like it has enough garlic. You got that ball. Mommy's going to take that ball from you. He's such a knucklehead. I'm throwing it this way, knuckle. Mm, I gotta put more garlic into it. Feelings. I'm gonna choke my husband like a chicken. 
Because I'm singing the feeling song. Give me that ball. Give mommy that ball. Cooper, Cooper. Go in here. Go get it. It's in the bedroom. Go. Are you really that much of a thing, Larry? Too old to be bending down. <laughs> so cute, guys. Such a cutie pie. I don't know what this glare is about here. Does this glare? Is that the glare? What's the, what am I? I think that's okay. Let's see if this glare makes a glare. It makes a glare, but not as bad. Okay. All right. So we're just mixing this up. This is a stick of butter. <sighs> All right, the gravy, I low, I put the gravy on the back burner now, but it's starting to um, really boil. So I'm gonna put it on low and I'm gonna take the top off because I don't want it to like burn. And just let it simmer on low now. Yeah. Bill. Yeah. Every time I get this song out of my head, you start singing it again. Yeah, the whole point. And also to share my singing voice with your viewers. Oh, God. God, yeah. God help them. Whoa. All right, so let's put the, let's, we're going to put the butter onto the garlic butter onto the Italian bread. And I like to get it all buttered a little bit. Don't bite me. Yeah. I like to get it all on it on the sides, guys. This guy is no clue how to play fetch. I know, we didn't teach him. I did try to teach him as a puppy, he just didn't get it. Why he no he brings it in he but he but he drops it. He likes to play. He likes to play. That's how he plays though. I, I, taught I think he knows how to play fetch. He just he doesn't want to hand it over. Yeah, he wants to. We both train Sophie. Sophie, oh baby. Losing a pet guy is so hard. You guys know. I'm sure you've experienced it or in your lifetime. I hope you never have to, but if you have a pet, you're going to experience it, unfortunately. If you have a pet, you're going to experience it. It's not easy. But you got to just get all the joy and happiness and love you can give them and get from them while you can. Just like that saying, never if you never to have loved. What is the song? What is it? Song. What is the saying? Never to have loved. If you've never loved. No, it's, if you've ever. Never to have loved. There's a saying, but I can't remember exactly how it goes. But this, what the saying means is if you don't love. No. I, don't, I don't really know how to explain it. So it just means that, you know, when you love, it hurts. That's the way it is. With life, with people, with pets, anything. That's the way life is. Never to have loved is never is never to have loved at all. Something like that. Like it's better to have loved. There we go. It's better to have loved 
that never have never loved before. That's the, the statement. It's better to have loved than never have loved before. That's it, guys. And that's the God's honest truth. That's why people grieve so hard, you know, most people, because if you love that hard, you're going to grieve that hard. That's just the way it goes. That's just the way of life. But yeah, never to have loved. Right. But yeah, that's it. There we go. All right. What is this doing in here? Mashed and buttered up. Wash my hands. Better to have loved than never have loved before. Alright, let's get the little pan that we're going to put it on. So I'm going to put the water up in a minute, but because my son should be home probably like in 15, well, not probably about a half hour. So let me get the pan. I hope that music ain't affecting me. What? That music. Right. The other day I had, um, I had one of my videos, I had to get it, I had to mute a, a certain part of it because they copyrighted me because there was a, a little snippet of music in it. It was like, literally guys, it was 10 seconds, 10 seconds and they wouldn't, they wouldn't monetize my video that I had to go in and I had a request that they mute that part of the video, which was fine. And so they did that. But yeah, they, they won't monetize your, your video if you, if you have um, a copyright in there. Because, you know, the, 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 the person, the owner of it has to get paid for the 10 seconds that they heard their song. Ridiculoso. It is what it is. All right, so this is going in. I'm not going to put this on yet for the last five minutes. I'll put it like the last eight minutes. I'll put it on bake and then we'll broil it for a couple seconds but right before. But this is it, guys. Homemade garlic bread with leftover potty Italian bread. Mm -hmm. And like I said, if you don't have Italian bread, if you feel like, if you feel like, a little garlic bread, you can put it, you can make toast, garlic toast. I do that all the time. I'll make garlic toast. Just take out bread. You know, if you want to get rid of some bread, do that. You can do that. and Or you can use a ham. I'm making garlic bread. Um, you can make, um, you could do it hamburger rolls, hot dog rolls. In fact, I got hamburger rolls and hot dog rolls in that freaking cabinet there. We're going to have, we have to have hot dogs. If not, I'm gonna have to put them in the freezer because I got two, like two and a half, I got like two rolls or two packages of freaking hot dog rolls in there. I don't know why I have two. I thought I only had one and I bought another one. Um, so maybe, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow night we should have like chili dogs or something. Well, anyway, what I was trying to say was that you can use hot dog rolls, but you can flatten them out like, you know, just flatten it. And you can use that as, um, as, as, as garlic toast. That's a good way to use up bread. Because in our house, we don't eat a lot of bread anymore. So if I buy like a loaf of bread, it, you know, we have to, I have to be um, very um, vigilant about either eating it or freezing it or whatever. Because it's going to go bad. Because the majority of the time, bread does not, we don't eat a lot of bread. So um, that's why with this bread too, I had in the freezer. Um, so I figured, let me get it used up, and I'll, I'll have the other half in there for another day. But yeah, so this is starting to boil now. Yeah. Yeah, it's a 
consistency is nice. So it's on low, but I had, yeah, I lowered it because it took the top off, as you guys saw. And I'm gonna get the pot up for the water. Um, let's get it out of here. at night, 12 o'clock at night, he starts his time to start playing with his toys and running around and being like a lunatic. And then, what? Oh, and then he'll usually eat again, and then he'll go out, and then he'll go back to sleep. <laughs> oh, so Julie and I and, and Bill and Darren went um, for a bite to eat today. Um, we went for lunch before, after we went to her house, and we went to the diner, and um, Julie and I were debating what we wanted. I, we, I was debating either a bre breakfast or a wrap or lunch or something. I wasn't really sure. But anyway, me and Julie decided we wanted breakfast. So we, we what we did was she was going to get a breakfast, and I was going to get my own breakfast. And I was like, you know what? That's stupid. So Julie's like, why don't we get a big breakfast, and we'll just split it. So that's the, the last time Julie and I went out to eat with, the, with some people a couple of months ago. We share a meal now because it's not it, it it's ridiculous. Even even sharing a meal, it's too much food. It literally is for us. So we got the big breakfast, which was pan came with two pancakes, sausage link, some bacon, um, and two eggs. Then I wanted home fries, so that's why I was going to get. That's why I was going to get my own breakfast because I really wanted home fries, but I also wanted a little piece of pancake. So anyway, so we ordered a, an order of home fries, you know, um, on the side. So um, I'm going to insert pictures here of what, of what, um, of what it was. I'll show you. I'm going to. I have a picture of the the meal when we got it, and then the meal when I was halfway done with it, halfway eating through it my my portion and um and i'll show you what we brought home well, listen now i also brought this other stuff in here because my son-in-law to be he got home fries too which we shouldn't have did we should have just all split the home fries but anyway you live and you learn so we have i have home fries from us left here and home fries of his that we saved they're so good that i said i'm not wasting this and they were gonna throw it all out i'm like no Bring it home. I'll fry this up in the morning with little eggs. Uh -uh. And I saved some of the ham. And the, me and Julie didn't even eat the whole sausage link. So, I'm hungry. So we brought it home. Can I tell you guys? We both, me and Julie, got a big breakfast. Darren got a big breakfast. And my husband got a burger. Do you know how much it was at a diner, two breakfasts, and one lunch was $75. The breakfasts that we got, the 18, and the big breakfast, I remember five, six, seven years ago before COVID and all before all this whole inflation business and all that. You could get a big breakfast for $12, $13, anywhere from $10 to $12, $13, a big breakfast. $18 for a big breakfast. Okay, you get two pancakes, you get one sausage link, you get two eggs, you get a little bacon, $18, highway robbery, highway robbery. The bill was $75, like crazy, crazy craziness. I'm telling you guys, I don't know what they're doing. Really, really highway robbery, really. 
I mean, the bill is $75 because we got two orders of home fries. So that, I don't even know how much the home fries were. Probably they were $106, $7, a freaking thing. Obviously, $75. Really? So, yeah, so we don't do that often. And, um, you know, it's just, it's just crazy. It's so, so expensive. But I just feel like for what we got, like, it, you know, if I went to a seafood restaurant and I spent $75, on four meals, if it was $75 on four meals, then it's one thing. But eggs, eggs, and two pancakes, and a sausage link, and two pieces of bacon? Come on, come on, come on. I get it because I guess that, because I, I understand that it's not the diner's fault so much as it is the distributors and whoever is you know, they're buying the food from, their prices have gone up, so then the owners have to compensate for their prices that they have to pay, so they, they, but they turn it around and they put it on the consumer, and it's not fair. I know that they're the consumer as well, because they're going to be doing whatever, whatever. Everybody's a consumer, but the point is, is that it's just highway robbery. How do you expect the economy to get better and to things to get better and people spend their money and people are out there and their businesses that can be opened and not closed and all that. How do you expect people to, to afford it? Like you're getting, you're just getting by today, you know, and everything costs more money in the food store. Everything's at least like a dollar fifty to two dollars more than it used to be, you know, and um, it's just crazy. It really is. It's, it's just crazy. I don't know what they expect. I don't know how they expect like the government, how they expect us to, to the, the world to keep turning and the world to keep getting better and improving if, if they can't figure out a way to lower the gas and to lower the, you know, the food cost. And I mean, it's crazy. It's just, it's just crazy, guys. It's crazy. So, yeah, so uh, I just wanted to tell you that, that it was for $75 for, for um, four meals. No, three meals. It was three meals because we didn't get... Me and Julie shared a meal. So if we if we didn't share a meal, it would have been another $15. It would have been like $85, $90 for a, 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 a. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So yeah, so going out to eat and going, you know, out is really, is really not that great. It isn't great at all because it's it's a fortune. It's a fortune. So anyway. That's that, and I'm sure you guys know that. I really don't have to tell you that. I'm sure. I'm sure you guys know that. All right. So I get on a, I get on a tangent, guys, about certain things. Something things that I feel passionate about. I get on a tangent over. Okay, because it just frustrates me. Anyway, this is very greasy. I guess it's because of the the um, very oily. I guess because of the um, the meat. I'm not gonna skim it. I'm just. Yeah, maybe I am gonna skim it. I think I'm gonna skim it a little bit. Let's get something to skim it with. Let's do this. Where's that spoon that I always use? Here it is. I'm gonna skim a little bit of the oil off. It's hard to see because I have uh, the lights off. So you guys see all that, that oil there? I just want to get some of it off. It's definitely from the meat because the, um, the sausage gives off a lot of grease. I'm just trying to get the oil. Not the gravy. See how that's the oil? Shiny. The shiny stuff. Trying to get off as much as I can.
it's hard not to get a little bit of the gravy, you know, it just seeps up. But I'm trying to get most of the grease, the oil. Yeah, you see the, the meat the meat balls broke up a little bit because they're very, very, very tender and very soft. So that's why I said you gotta be careful when you mix because you can break the break the meatballs up if they're really tender. And then, you know. I want to get parsley out. I want to cut some parsley up. Yeah, so I got a lot out. That's really main, the main leaf, the main. Uh, what do you do when you want to go out? What do you want to do? I think I want to go out. Yeah, Let me get the parsley. Got issues, yes he does. I don't think you're entertaining my viewers, you're entertaining yourself, really. Well, not really. But. Yeah, I know. Let's get the bread off of here. So we were all we were doing wedding talk today, because next week we gotta make out the, the we have to do the tables, you know. Um Decide who's sitting where, and guys, I can't believe the wedding's like five and a half weeks. So no, what is it? Four, four and a half weeks away now? What is it? Four weeks from this Sunday. Well, today's only Tuesday, but. Oh my God! I says to Julie, did you, did you do this? Did you do that? She's like, not yet, not yet. I'm like, Joel. When are you gonna do this? The wedding's in four weeks. Like, there's certain things that are time sensitive that we have to get done. We're doing, we're making um, homemade favors for the for the shower for the wedding, and so we have to do that. She has to get some pictures together because we're gonna do. We're gonna. They have, there's a beautiful mantle like fireplace there. We're gonna put um, all the people that have that are were so important to us that we wish could be there that are in heaven. So we're gonna do. We're gonna put pictures up of those people. We got to do, you know, there are a few things that have to be done, like, before the wedding. And she's waiting to the last minute for everything. I'm like, you're going to say, you, and you're, and you're saying to me, Mom, uh, uh, not yet, not yet, but when is not yet going to be? Because we only have four weeks. Like, you got to do it. We got to do So, yeah, so we're trying to get organized. She's, she's under a lot of stress right now. You know, the end, the end of a, the, um, when you're planning a wedding, the 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 end of the the of the time that right before the wedding is just like when you're having a baby and you're just like you're you're at the nine month mark and you're like oh my god get this thing out of me and all that i want this to be over with and start my life again and all this this is what this wedding has been it's been like between the shower and the stress and just everything you know planning everything and coming together and finances and all that um, it's like, you just can't wait for the relief of it to be over, even though you, you're, ex I'm so excited for it. Like, like the shower, I was so excited, but I was so stressed and it was just a double-edged sword. But yeah, but it, a wedding to me, planning a wedding is like planning and it's having a baby because you're like, you can't wait till that when it's just about over and it's done. And then you see this beautiful baby that is, was worth all that aggravation. And then you see the beautiful wedding which was worth, worth, hopefully, all that aggravation. I don't know. No, it will be. It will be. It will be. So. Yeah, 
I mean, I'm sure, you know, I'm not talking to the choir, like I'm sure you guys, they're the majority of people, well, not everybody, but I'm sure there are people, you guys, a lot of you know what it's like to plan a wedding or to plan a party or to plan or have a baby or anything, so. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy so lonely. I'm crazy. So I'm just taking some of the stems off. Crazy for feeling so blue. I'm crazy for crying. Patsy Cline. If you're my age, you know Patsy Cline. I mean, I was, I think we're still young. Patsy Cline was before our, my time, our time, but you, you'll know of her if you're my age, if you're in, the, in your 50s. And um, with Loretta Lynn and Patsy Cline and all that, um, they're older than us, but I love them. Loretta Lynn's still alive, isn't she? Is Loretta Lynn still alive? What? Loretta Lynn. Can you Google it? Oh wait, never mind. Alexa, is, a Le is Loretta Lynn still alive? Loretta Lynn died on October 4th, 2022 in Hurricane Mills, Tennessee, USA at the age of 90 years. Oh, Jesus, I didn't realize she died. Okay, so Loretta Lynn's gone. Patsy Cline died early, in her early years. She died in a car, in a car, in a plane accident. Because if you, if you watch the Loretta, the, the Loretta Lynn story, you'll know about Patsy Cline. Um, La Bamba and all those people. Uh, yeah, so she did die in 2022. I thought, I thought she did. Crazy for crazy. And I'm crazy for love. Uh, let me sharpen my knife. Now the water's starting to boil. I'm gonna lower it because my son's not home yet. What are you doing? Are you taking a meatball? Yeah, I'm taking a meatball. He's taking a meatball. Grease, but there's still a lot of grease in there. There's a lot that come up that came up again. You know what? I think I have basil in here too that I didn't use, and I'd like to use a little bit of it up. Where is it? I have oil in here. Basil that I had in here. Here it is. I had fresh mozzarella in there, and I bought tomatoes today. I stopped at the little farm over here because all my tomatoes are gone. Are done. My tomatoes, whatever I had left, kind of was not really good anymore, so I just threw it out. But I have a fresh mozzarella in there, and I also have um, those tomatoes that I just bought at from the farm. They're farm, right? You know, they're from me, so I have that. Um, so during the week. I'll keep this nice and healthy, and then I'll have some tomatoes with mozzarella and basil. What is that called? Um, there's, a, there's a name for it. Does anybody remember? If you do, comment down below. I forget what it's called. Um, cabri Cabrisi? Cabrisi? Ca something like that. Mmm. 
Frankie home? My son's gonna come in any minute. The water's boiling, so it's perfect. As soon as I put the pasta in, I will put the um, the bread on. basil and fresh parsley. Love it. Nothing like it. So I'm putting this, um, putting the pasta in. It's a little over a pound. Alexis, set the timer for 12 minutes. We got pen A. Alexa, set the timer for 12 minutes. 12 minutes, starting now. What is she? I think Alexa's becoming hard of hearing in her older age. Hold it on. Okay, one second. All right, guys, so, um... This is the pasta's cooking. Oh, let me put the um, the, the um, oven on. Back. I'm gonna put it on 375. Ooh, can you stop, please? At 15 minutes. Let that bake. That should be done in the time that the um. I was skimming more because it's, for some reason the, the meat is really giving off a lot of grease. I don't know why, but it really is. Um, try not to mix this because some of the meatballs broke up in here. But that's all right. Still be delicious. And I'm crazy for loving you. Guys, I have my um, my fall stuff I have to put up. Um, I have a whole box of it. I think I'm going to do that. I put some fall stuff up. To, um, I got this uh, at the Dollar Tree. I think I showed you guys yesterday. Just this little cute thing. All 25. Um, that and... Um, Oh, I got these. I showed you guys these yesterday. Here, I'll show you over here. I put them up. See the little, um, oh, my gourd. I love fall and then falls in the air. There. Right there. I put those up. And I have a whole box of um, my fall stuff from, from every year that I, that I put up. Um, that I, I'm going to put up probably Thursday. I got a lot of stuff to do in my room. My, um, my, my, okay. My drawers, oh, look what I, I can't even believe that I just did that. I just made a big mess on the stove. I mean, right. um, I gotta get into my drawers because, <laughs> into my drawers, that sounds funny. I gotta get into my dresser drawers because all my clothes in there, guys, are big. I have all my ex clothes in there, I told you guys. I went from a 5X to a large. Now, I'm, this is a large. I just bought this shirt. And these, these pants that I'm wearing are large. I think they're, the, the pants are still extra large, but they're big. See, they're big still. They're, they're big, but yeah. Anyway, maybe TMI. Anyway, um, so all my drawers are loaded with all my, all my clothes that don't fit me. So I have to decide what I'm going to do. I'm probably... Going, I know for a fact I'm going to give most of them away to Goodwill and to people who can use them. They're really, really nice clothes. Like they're in really great shape. So I might, I might take a handful of them and bring them to, um, first of all, I think the Salvation Army, um, I think you can donate close to there. I might donate to there because I, I like that, um, that, that, um, organization. 
and I might bring some to a consignment shop and and sell them. I, I might because I really have some really, really nice clothes. And like I said, I, I wanted the majority I want to give away because people can really, really use it and I want to do that. And I will, but there are some that I'm going to save, a handful that I'm going to probably save that I think are worth something maybe. And I could, you know, get a little cash from it because you can, you know, use some extra cash and we could use it very, very much. Trying to get back on track from from being laid off and the wedding and the shower and the bills and all of that and food and <laughs> I don't have to tell you guys. So now this is a mess here. Where is the oh, I never reached the paper towels. So what happened was I had the the spoon in the can here and when I took out the spoon there was a whole bunch of gravy in the spoon. So it got a little bit stove. wipe up what I can. I'm still going to have to do the stove anyway, so. Feeling so lonely. I don't know why, I've got that song in my head. Mmm. Smells so good, guys. Let's, let's check on the bread. Let's check on the garlic bread. So freaking good. But let's say 10 minutes. That's way, 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 way. Let me change this. Time. I'm going to put the time to literally like three minutes. And then I'm going to put it on. I'll put four. And then I'll put it on broil for the last couple of minutes because that's almost done. Alexa, how much longer on the timer? You have four minutes and 40 okay. seconds left on your 12 minute timer. Four minutes for this, so almost five minutes. Yeah, this is still hard. And I'm crazy for loving you. Also, we had, um, we got Frank, had Frankie get some ragout. I don't know if you guys know, but growing up and then being Italian, and not all Italians do it, but we did it. My grandmother, my aunts, my uncles, my mom, dad, everybody. We would have ragout, you know, people put ragout like in lasagna and, you know, ziti and all that stuff. Um, and I don't know if you know this known fact, but ragout is made when you, for cannolis. Did you know that? It's ragout that goes in cannolis, guys. So ragout and powdered sugar. That's what cannoli is. That's the inside of a cannoli. Anyway. We, as Italians, we've always dipped, we always add this to our pasta dish. Oh, so good. You either mix it in or you just dip it. So, 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 so good. So we had Frankie get a small one for us because we enjoy it. So that's what we're doing. So we're going to dip it in a little regret. Yeah. Happy, happy dance. Happy, happy Italian Sunday. Happy, happy dance. All right, let's taste this freaking gravy, guys. Let's taste it. I've taken a lot of oil out of this, and it's still very greasy. It's still very oily, but it is what it is. I'm not going to sit here all night and take freaking oil out of it. Ow. i got to go to chiropractor, guys. My neck hurts. My neck. It's from sleeping with Cooper. Like, we sleep a certain way because he's right on top of us, and it's... Mm. It's good, but it needs more cheese. Oh, it's really tart. It's still very tart. I'm going to put a little bit more sugar in there. Crazy for crying. And I'm crazy.
Sometimes I can't show you guys what I'm doing. I'm sorry about that because I'm a little, you know, a little airheady. I'm a little airheady. Let's check this bread. I'm shutting it. I don't even think I'm gonna. I don't even think I'm gonna put it on broil. It's definitely done. So I'm just keeping it closed and just keeping it nice and warm in there. And it's done. I'll take it out in a minute and let it cool so I can cut it. This, this has definitely got more than Alexa. How much timer? How much longer on the timer? Alexa, how much longer on the timer? You have 50 seconds left yeah. on your 12 minutes. It definitely timer. needs like two or three more minutes. What's my pretty boy doing? What's he doing? There he is. He's so bro bro today. He's so cute. I'm crazy for true. And I'm crazy. This was on for 12 minutes. It says 10 to 12 minutes, but it definitely, definitely needs another, I would say at least two minutes. I mean, I like it al dente, but I don't like it, you know, freaking hard as a rock. All right, let's bring the bread out. Definitely didn't need to be broiled. Look at that. That would be overcooked if if I um I definitely would have burnt it. Probably made too much. I probably could have just made this one. I don't know, guys. You live and you learn. You live and you learn. You learn and you learn. You learn and you live. Hopefully. Use a serrated knife. Cut bread. Ow. Note to self, if you touch it, it's hot. Ooh, hot. The end is the best. Woo. When we're out together dancing, she, she, I don't know why I'm singing all these songs. All right. Let's taste it. I'm crazy. Oh my God, stop, Linda, stop. I'm gonna get the strainer, come over to the sink, and it's done.
Dinner's ready. Why? Starving your husband. Mm. Starving my husband. Yeah, he's starving already. What did you give me yesterday? A hamburger. All day. A hamburger. That's all I had all day. I came home from work, you had no dinner prepared for me. Listen. What? Guess what time you got home last night? Does everybody want to know? Four o'clock in the morning. And she had no and dinner prepared. No dinner. No, nothing. He didn't even want to eat anyway. I was a little tired. And you know what? He can make his own damn dinner. Oh, you're nasty. Right, guys? Nasty, I like it. Yeah. Last night I fell asleep on the chair. I woke up about 15 minutes before he came home. Yeah, I thought poor Cooper was left outside by himself. I had a sink full of dishes, <laughs> and I didn't do them. I didn't just do them. Where's the ladle? And I didn't care, because I was tired. Okay, well, but you yeah. say bye-bye so we can get our plates ready. All right, let me get my plate together, and I'll be back, guys. All right, guys, so here is my plate. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to turn you around, show you my plate. So excited about this meal. It's going to be delicious. All right, guys, so here is my plate. Yummy, yummy. You see that? So we're good there, guys. I'm going to turn you around, and I'm going to show you what I do. So good. I'm telling you, you should try it. You don't have to mix it up. He's a good some people mix it. Ooh. Some people mix it, mix it in. I like to dip it. That's just the way I like to eat it. And I've been doing it much longer than him because I've been doing it since I've been a little girl. So here's my pasta. You dip some of Garlic bread into the garlic. <clears throat> Sorry, but I was never a little girl. Mmm. <laughs> guys. So good. So, that's dinner tonight, guys. Homemade gravy, leftover. Ooh. I'm not going to do that. It's going to end up all over the place. All right, guys, so thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because when you subscribe, it really helps my channel grow. And I so, so appreciate it. Um, I'm trying to get to 2,000 subs by the end of this uh, year. We'll see. Just trying. So keep hitting that subscribe button, the notification button with that bell. Like, share, comment down below. Love you guys. Thank you so much for coming into my kitchen and subscribing. And creating with me. And um, don't forget about that book thing I told you about. I'm going to start reading my book. Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. I'll let you know. Alright guys, see you on the next video. Bye.